So is wisdom positive or is it negative towards wealth? The truth is it, it's, it's a really holistic view that wisdom takes of wealth. It sees the positives and the negatives. On the positive side, you can see that wealth is considered a reward. In Proverbs 15, 6, it says, um, the house of the righteous will be filled with treasure. In Proverbs 13, 21, it says, good rewards will come to the righteous. In chapter 10, verse 4, it says, diligent hands will make one rich. In Proverbs 8, 18, wisdom says, with me there is riches and honor, lasting wealth and righteousness. So you, you see the positive elements of wealth and there's even advantages. In 1015, it talks about a rich man's wealth is a fortified city. In other words, there is distinct advantages to actually being wealthy, you have some protection. But then Proverbs turns right back around, unless we get too positive about wealth and all that it brings. And it, it talks about some of the negatives. Like 2811, Proverbs 2811, it says a rich man is wise in his own eyes. In other words, he thinks he knows better. He's kind of arrogant and proud and wealth has that way of just making a person believe they know what they're doing and know what they're talking about always. Proverbs 18, 11 says that in their imagination, the wealthy think their wealth is a fortified city and is a high wall, but really it's just in their imagination. In other words, there is the sense that wealth doesn't do anything to protect you from some things. Proverbs 11.4 says, wealth won't save you in the day of wrath. In other words, uh, no matter how wealthy you are, sometimes when things go bad, they go bad for everyone and the wealthy are no better off than the poor. Proverbs 11.7 says, hope and wealth vanishes. And so when you put your trust and your hope into wealth, it, it's a bad place to, to be because it's not going to last. So if we look at both sides and we see that wisdom is comprehensive, it sees, yeah, there are distinct advantages to being wealthy. There is a sense in which doing it right, living the right way produces more prosperity, but there's no guarantees to any of that because it balances it out by saying, look, there are also some difficulties that come with wealth. There's some downfalls, there's some problems. It's a very comprehensive way of looking at it. And I think a nuanced way. And if we're smart, we'll adopt what Proverbs has to say, recognizing both the benefits and the problems that come with wealth.